Nathaniel Morton, you're wrong because invert shock, they have us do plyometrics every day. And Jordan Kilgannon, arguably the best dunker on the planet at one point, told me to jump every day. So yes, I can do plyometrics every day. Listen, let's talk about it. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life or you afraid to die. But if you don't take that leap, how you know that you can't fly? So I'm just steady taking chances. And I do Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so that you never miss another video. And comment, jump down below in the comment section for a free bodyweight vertical jump training program. And follow me on Instagram, tag three people for a free weight training vertical jump training program. Today's question is from Josh, who says, what about plyometrics? Can you do it every day? Recently, I posted a video that says you can't do vertical jump weight training every single day. I recommend it twice per week, once on Monday and once on Friday with a jump day or a plyometric day in the middle on Wednesday. But he says, and many other people have said, what about if we don't do weight training? Can we do plyometrics every single day? And a lot of people say, Vert Shock has us do plyos every day. Jordan Kilgannon, back in the day when he was, you know, he's still a really good dunker, but back in the day when he was killing the game, when he was on the come up, he said, jump every single day. Listen, this is what I have to say about that. Do a study, do a test on yourself. I would love for one of you to actually do this test for yourself. Find the results, do the research, and then send it to me so that I could have this information. Or many of you, then we would have a lot of different data points. We could track whether or not plyos every day are actually good. Do this test for yourself. For a month, do one plyometric training session per week. Do it once a week, every week for a month, and then track your results. Then do it twice a week every week for a month, track your results, then do it three times, then do it four, then five, then six, and then do plyometrics every single day for an entire month and track your results. It's gonna be tough because obviously in the beginning when you start doing plyometrics, your vertical jump is going to increase. But if doing plyos every single day is so good and that's what you should be doing to increase your vertical jump as high as possible, then it doesn't matter how high your vertical is, plyos every day would be the best thing for you to do to increase your vertical jump as high as possible. So somebody do this study and send it to me because I could not find any studies where people, look, actual studies, I, I researched, I could not find any studies where they had participants of the study do plyometrics every day. I couldn't even find studies where people did plyometrics five times a day. The most that people ever did plyometrics in a research study that I found was four times a day and they did a high intensity plyometric day and then a low intensity, then high intensity and then low intensity and then they rested the other days. It's just not researched, it's not done because it is not the best thing to do. Your body, your central nervous system, your muscles need to recover. Now, it is possible to work your way up to doing plyometrics every single day, but I still don't even think that would give you the most results. I think that rest and recovery is the only way that your body can build bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. So what did I find in the research studies? I found that you need to take rest. I found that doing two to three plyometric sessions is best per week. So for me, I say do a weight training on weight training on Monday, weight training on Friday, and then a jump session in the middle, and that is great. But if any of you have my weight training vertical jump program, I include some plyometrics on the Monday and the Friday. So that's essentially three plyometric sessions, it's probably two plyometric sessions that are lower intensity and then one jump day or one plyometric day on Wednesday that is a higher intensity session, which is what I think is best. But the study said two to three plyometric sessions per week is what you should do. And this here is the study that made the most sense to me. This is from the International Journal of Sports Physical Therapy. They said, recovery is important to prevent injuries, overtraining, and determine the primary emphasis of the plyometric program. Because of the intense demands on the body with plyometric training, longer recovery periods between sets may be appropriate. There is limited research on the optimum recovery times, but recovery between training sessions is usually 48 to 72 hours between exercise bouts with plyometrics. 
That is what's recommended. Now, playing basketball every day is plyometrics. You're sprinting, you're running, you're jumping, you're doing plyometrics when you play basketball. Some people play basketball every single day. So it is possible to do plyometrics every single day, but playing basketball is a lot different than actively trying to jump. You're not gonna go out and do a, a hour long dunk session every day. And if you do, and you could do that day after day after day, I would argue that you're not putting in quality reps of a jump session. After you do a jump session, you're a little bit fatigued. You can't just go out and do that day after day after day, every single day of your life. If any of you would like to do the research for yourself and do plyometrics every day and see whether you get more results with everyday plyometrics or one day a week or two or three or five days a week, et cetera, then do that and send it to me. I would love to see the results. But as all the studies show, you need some rest time in between your plyometrics. So if you're gonna ask me, I'm gonna say, no, you cannot do plyometrics every single day. Do strength with plyometrics on Monday, strength with plyometrics on Friday, and a specific jump day, plyometric day on Wednesday. Other than that, let yourself rest, recover, bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to the channel, click the bell so that you never miss another video. Comment jump down below if you want a free body weight vertical jump training program. Comment your question down below if you want me to answer your question on a video just like this and take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power, it is only potential power until you take action on what you know. The way to change your life is not by thinking about it, it's by doing it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan.